Uh, Mario, I legitimately, like, I have long legs, so I can reach the pedals, but this is not safe. You can't reach, can you? Hold on. <laughs> we are. Subscribe now and we will see you at Thurman's 34 Rush, April 25th and 26th for the NFL Draft. Hey everybody. Can I grab the oat handle? Yeah, that's what I do the whole time you drive. No offense. Oh, this is so relaxing. Yeah, nothing like driving through the parking lot of the Summit Park Mall, which is basically just a landmine uh, field. A couple of cops followed us in here. They thought that we were doing some shady stuff. Yeah? <laughs> like these guys are going to an exchange. <laughs> Blinkers work. <laughs> Don't eat them. It's the falls. <laughs> Tell me a police officer is going to pull me over for not using my blinkers. It does make me laugh, though, sometimes when everyone keeps trying to find out by looking at the background where we are. Oh, yeah. Can you explain to me why when you go to Tim Hortons, you order a double-double, they seem to train everybody to basically draw the Daredevil logo on top of the coffee cup? <laughs> You know what? I don't look as small driving over here. Look at you. Look at me. We're of comparable size now. I'm also... Did you ever see Police Academy? Yeah, of course. I'm high tower. You I'm in the tower. back seat right now. You think Buffalo is prepared for two Josh Allens, if that happens? I don't know, man. I don't know. I like Josh Allen. I think there's better pass rushers, though. I think you can get... I, I, I like I know people are going to lose their minds when, when they hear me say that I like Josh Allen the pass rusher right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like Montez Sweat the pass rusher I like Rashad Gary the pass rusher but they're one dimensional yes right? so I, I don't know if that's really what this team is going to value I this like, team seems to value versatility yes so, I like Montez Sweat the cornerback he's, he's so four, fast four, <laughs> oh my god he's so fast but he's, I mean, if Jerry Hughes pisses you off as a player, Montez Sweat will will piss you off. He will like bother you. And, and, and Hughes is more physical than Sweat. He's I bigger, mean, right? Yeah. Is he bigger than Because Hughes yeah. is like 255, 260. Yeah. What's Sweat? Uh, Sweat's, I think Sweat's taller and he is heavier. Wait. This is, oh, your, yeah, you can this look is it your up. role. I know, you can look it up. I think Sweat is taller and heavier, but, you know, Jerry's not 6'5. You know? All right, 6'2. And a lot of people are going on about Rashawn Gary and, and have him really rated high. I don't. I like Rashawn Gary, but it, I think pass rush and safety are the two positions in the draft this year where the teams will dictate how valuable they are, not pre-draft analysis, right? So, what I mean by that is, um, if you take a look at like safeties, right? Teams dictate safety value because of the type of player that they are fitting in their system. So who could be the number one safety on somebody's board is not the number one safety on another board, True. right? Yes. So it's cornerback safeties are like that, safeties more specifically, um, and defensive ends. Because you look at guys and you immediately go, this guy's a fit, this guy's not a fit. This guy's on the board, this guy's not. Yeah. Because of the type of player that they are. So defensive ends, when you're trying to put them all on one big board and, and overall, overall give them a grade of top, like top 50, it's really tough because there's a lot of teams that won't even have three of those pass rushers on their board because they're not fits for their organization. So that's why pass rusher and safety are, are really tough to, to get a handle on because you have to know what the team wants. I don't know what the Bills want. I can't tell you what what type of player the Bills are going for there. I can't tell you. I don't know. You ready for this? Yeah. Montez Sweat is bigger than Jerry Hughes. Yeah. 6'6", 260. Yeah. And he runs faster. Yeah. We thought he was smaller. Sweat's really tall. Well, what was his bench press reps? Because he's got like... Yeah, but how long are his arms? 35. Like, yeah, exactly. 441. Yeah. That's so crazy. Three cone was seven. That's a good three cone for a D. That's not even that's like if you made this character in Madden, people would be like, he does look like he looks like a made up character. He oh really does. God, but again, he's one dimensional. You know, he's gonna he's not real good at against 260, the run. At six six two sixty, with with it, the way uh, how long his arms are, he could get a lineman off of him if he needed to play the run. Now, he played at Mississippi State, so it's one of those scenarios where SEC, dude. Yep. Like, you're, you're playing against speed all the time, so yeah. it's not like he's going to be worse for wear to try to tackle a running back coming out of the backfield. But with all the offenses moving to a passing game anyway, 
he could cover a back out of the backfield. You could run yeah. a defense where he's the DN, yep. and usually you have the outside linebacker go with a flare or anything like that. Yeah. He can go do it. Mm -hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to rush three. If the back flares out, you got him on the He's like, okay, right. I run a 4-4-1. Four, one, four, four, one. I can yeah. do that. Well, on paper, he can keep up. That's we, stupid, though. Yeah. He didn't do really any coverage in Because college. what a lot of times we'll do, is like, let's just give you something like this. Here's an example. Okay, if you want to run a combo route with one of the things that you'll do is you'll have a running back in the backfield and you have a wide receiver on the outside. The wide receiver will run a slant. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that wide receiver running into the outside linebacker, you'll have the back do a flare. Right. Okay? What that does is it sh the outside linebacker who's reading that back will shoot out to the flat, thus opening up the window right. for the quarterback to throw the slant. If you have sweat in the game, that's gone. And you have him go with the back. You're not. You're going to give up a little bit on pressure. However, that outside linebacker is going to be right there for the slant. Yeah. So those routes in there, it takes away with the him. Lane. Yeah, he takes away the lane himself. Hey, go get him unless you see a running back. Mm -hmm. Come on, in the backfield. Running back's your responsibility first, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means that he will go to a team. What you're talking about system. He will go to a team that happens to have a solid front three at least. Okay. Yeah, Buffalo fits that. Yeah. You got two guys in the middle and a guy on the other side. That could take care of that. You say Buffalo fits that <clears throat> on paper. However, they had trouble generating pass rush. So I don't right. know if you want to take a D lineman out of the game in that respect. Right. But that's one. I know it's a, that's one option he can do, and no one's doing that. So that right. makes your defense unique mm -hmm. in that respect. Could Hughes do that? No. No. I've seen Hughes run down the field trying to cover Kenny, Kenny Stills. Stills. Oh my God, Kenny that still game, running after him. He's still running. Yeah. Um, that was when Stills was in New Orleans. That's how long that, that, that was, was. That was Jerry's first year in Buffalo. That's yeah. how long that That's was. So funny. That, that was the uh, Thad Lewis game. That was Thad Lewis. That was yes. Jerry's first start because Manny Lawson couldn't play. That's when Jerry was still an outside linebacker. Yeah, a lot of people forget that. Yeah. Manny Lawson started 15 of those games. No, that was the only game that Jerry Hughes started. He's running down the field, Jason. Trying to catch Kenny Stills. Are you kidding me? Montez Sweat could catch Kenny Stills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Montez Sweat could catch Kenny Stills. I'm, I know, that's not true. Kenny Stills would run faster because Montez Sweat is chasing him. <laughs> you know how there's a different speed that you have at certain points when you're in your scared. life? When you're just terrified, yes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's... Yes. <laughs> Blow the whistle! Like... Blow the whistle! <laughs> how about that? He sucks at two sports. <laughs> There's a guy that I like a lot, and um, like Rashawn Gary's getting all the praise from, from well, Michigan. It's the Big Ten, man. I know. I like Chase Winovich better. He's just more versatile. You know, and in Buffalo, I think that's what you need. I like Chase Winovich more than I like Rashawn Gary. Rashawn Gary's a flashy player. Can't tell you that he's not. S super flashy player, but I like Chase Winovich better. Another defensive end who drops in coverage. So he's a guy that does drop into coverage. I like him better. So if this was a teen movie, Rashawn Gary is the the prom queen. Yeah, that everyone looks like. Yeah, it looks too. But oh. like, and Chase Winovich is like, is like your, your your best friend next door who always hangs out with you, but you yeah. never date because she's your friend. Yeah, she wears sweatpants and hoodies every day of her life, and then she shows up to prom in a dress, and magically she's Rachel Lee Cook from 1994. <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. Or Zeke Elliott showing up with a half shirt. <laughs> Kiko Alonso and Zeke Elliott should launch their own clothing line of children's clothing because that's all they wear. They should call it belly button. <laughs> who was the who was the player from Baylor? Oh, what was his name? Sean Oakman. Sean Oakman. <laughs> Sean Oakman, Kiko Alonso. He was wearing a dish rag for a jersey. <laughs> that sounds like a joke. Zeke Elliott, Kiko Alonso, and Sean Oakman walk into a clothing store. <laughs> Baby Gap. <laughs>